Hello, hello. Hey guys, I'm going to put a book, namely Avengers 125, in a uh, top loader. And I'm going to show you how I does it. Uh, here's Iron Man 55. Um, now this book for me can't go in a top loader, and I'll show you why in a minute. We're going to get this out of the way. And I'm going to show you, um, I think I'm going to show you what you need. You need current size My Light 2s. micro chamber paper I'm gonna provide a link on where to find it now this is the only place that I know to buy it and if someone can tell me another place then please do so uh, acid-free tape and a marker so I think that might be it okay now the micro chamber paper what this does is that it's supposed to stop the aging process of a book uh, there's acid in these interior pages and the acid kind of uh, I don't know if you can you see all that kind of red right there it's supposed to um, and actually and if you can see where it's white where it's supposed to be white it's it's getting yellow okay and this is from uh, the ink and the pulp and all the acid in these interior pages and it's supposed to uh, kind of uh, halt the aging process okay so I'm going to put um, a piece of paper in between the first and uh, last page and the uh, exterior in the uh, exterior page. Okay. And you know what? For good measure, I'm going to put it in the middle page. Ooh, look at this. That is nice. Now, uh, Avengers 125, this is part of the uh, Thanos saga. Um, this is part of, uh, from Captain Marvel, uh, 25 through 33. This falls somewhere in the middle here. I'll tell you what, let's go through the condition of this book. This is a nice, this is a really nice book. Um, when I bought it, it was marked as, uh, as a 9.0 near mint minus, eh, yeah, I think it is. It's really nice. I bought this over the summer. I don't think you guys have seen this book. It's real nice looking. So, okay. We're going to grab our uh, current board. Oh, did I say? Here's a top loader. I don't know if I showed that yet or not. But here, okay, now here's the thing about a current size bag in this size top loader. Now this is, oops. now this is what I use and it fits perfectly in uh, my long box, okay? And the thing about this is that the current size uh, bag I mean, yeah, this uh, current size bag in the uh, in this size top loader is that this fits just snug enough for it, to, it. This fits perfectly in here. There's no room for anything else. And if I were to use um, like a standard size or gold or a uh, or a silver age bag, it wouldn't fit. Okay, so that's why I have to use this size bag and that's why this bag is too wide I mean this um, this 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 book right here is just too wide to fit um, for, eh, for this bag this comic I'm, I'm working it out as I go along here and I'm not gonna edit it out I'm too lazy for that okay this issue is too wide for this bag okay so I have to kind of do it a whole nother way, and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. Now I have my uh, microchamber paper in my pages. Now be very careful here. I'm trying to do all this in camera. Now the edges of this uh, of these my lights are very very sharp, and you can you have the potential to rip your book. Okay. 
and it's and this is just kind of fitting in here. All right, and then did you see me? Okay. Hold on tight when you do that. <clears throat> Gonna smooth it out. Don't want any air. I'm gonna fold right over the book. Again, trying to get that air out. And now I'm gonna label my uh my issue here now the micro now this I'm using acid free tape here and for me this is to signify that I'm using uh, micro chamber paper okay now if micro chamber paper wasn't in here I'd probably just be using plain old masking tape here we go and the name of the company that makes this is E Gerber so I'm gonna put E G to signify that I'm using a MyLights bag. E.G. And, you know, and I, I probably would be inclined to put a grade on it, but I kind of know what the grade is, so it's no big deal. I mean, it's real, this is a really, really super simple process for me. And we're going to slide this thing. We're going to slide this issue in here. By the way, this is a really popular issue. And there we go. Just that simple. Looks good. And for me, there's no need uh, for like uh, backing boards or anything like that. This is sturdy enough to keep to keep this upright. Okay. And besides, I like I kind of for some reason I like to look at the back. Don't know why. But here we go. Now a book like uh, Invincible Iron Man number fifty five. Now, like I said, uh, I, it's too wide, and I tried putting it in a current size, uh, current size bag. It is a tight fit, and I just got it out of there, and I put it in here. Now, what I did was I put the micro chamber paper in the first and last page in between the uh, front and back covers. Um, and I used a and I used the standard size. And I used the standard size my lights too. And I and to keep it protected even more, I use fullbacks. Okay, now you could use uh where are these? You know, like the regular bagging board, but I don't recommend these at all. Okay, these are like the BCW uh, bagging boards, and they say they're acid-free, but I don't believe it. And there was a um, an article, an online article testing the actual acidity of bags and boards. And these, the E Gerber full backs and half backs. Okay, these turned out to be the best you can get. All right, so I would not, I would never use especially for older books uh, for new books no big deal but for uh older books like this that you really want to protect i would not at all use um you know like bcw or uh anything that says acid free with that coating on the back you know the coating and the um you know this this type of uh bag and board i wouldn't even use this type of board this bag either it's you know this is like the polypropylene um, I just would not do it. All right. Uh, but I do want to give credit where credit is due. Um, Rick's geeking it. He he uh, hit me to the to the my lights, and um, it was a, in the YouTuber named the Comic Book Guy. He um, he uh, in his video he showed off the um, the top loader, okay, and how to use it. But I'm doing it a little bit different way than how he does it. So, um, if you, if, 
if uh, you can throw it in the top loader, I say do it. It looks great. But if you can't, use a uh, use the My Lights um, standard bag and uh, use the full bag. Okay. So, man, this video went a little bit longer than I expected. But I hope you got some good information. And thanks for watching.